Welcome, everyone. It's a crazy time in the uranium sector, and I would like to review this front end of the nuclear cycle report that I just read. It's 31 pages, so I'm just going to kind of shorten up the points that I think are worth remembering from this report and get some thoughts down on paper. So this report is really interesting. It was made in June 6th, and it's supposed to be given to the nuclear fuel working group um, that's meeting currently, supposedly today, and this is kind of the basic intro, the way I see it, of what they're going to be reading. And it's really good basic overview of supply and demand, also focusing on the domestic production issue in the United States. So one thing that I learned was domestic, the term, can include foreign owned entities, but it has to be produced in the U.S. So this thing goes through all the different points in the nuclear fuel cycle, but the beginning one um, and the important one to me is the mining portion. So they talk about how basically, um, let me just pull up the notes here. So mining and milling, so they kind of like name the locations where there's a lot of uranium resources, and they also state that it's not a very good place to mine. But it's uh, Colorado Plateaus, Texas Gulf Coast region, Wyoming basins, uh, low quality and high cost. Okay, there are six uranium conversion plants worldwide. Honeywell plant, Metropolis, Illinois, is the only facility in the U.S., and it shut down in 2016, which is super interesting. Then, so it goes over conversion there. Enrichment, it talks a little bit about. There's one plant going, one enrichment plant. And secondary supply, it talks about. It says, really interesting, uh, secondary supplies account for 48 million pounds as of December 2018. Okay, that's an interesting number. Next number, traders and brokers. Goldman Sachs bought in 2011, the peak of their buying, $242 million in physical uranium. And it exited the market by 2018. That's interesting. So they've been dumping basically for that time. DOE. So they basically dumped for a while, then they stopped. And then this came to the conclusion that Rick Perry set a threshold where that's not considered um, a hindrance to domestic production. However, they bring up a lot of things here. Um, basically, it sounds like the DOE has gone over options for being able to subsidize or buy pounds or constrict how much pounds they, they put into the supply. But one thing that they do talk about a lot is just the fact that there's going to be very little domestic supply of uranium. So how do you want to deal with that? And it kind of lays it out. You, you get it. Um, those were just a few points of ramble, and there was a ton more. It was a great report. It uh, didn't give an indication one way or the other necessarily, but it was a good overview, and it kind of took a non-biased approach, which is great at a time like this. Um, it's crazy times, and I think if you look back, you will either make or break yourself now, and by selling at the bottom, it's just like a fear sale. And when you get fearful, it's time to buy if you believe in something. So I have, um, I have been doing my best and over committing. But obviously, everything I say here had no investment advice in it. And I'm an idiot. So good luck. And it's a great time to follow this story.